What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. Cause it's snap on Friday. There's Hamilton. So let's see what he's got. Come on. Well, that green box looks good. The guy who bought the black one with the red trim last week, he said he watched the video and he's like, "Hot dang, I should just wait." He said, "I like the green one pretty good," but he's in a big truck shop. Yeah. And uh, he said everybody else in the shop talked to him. He's like, "No, nah, you better with the black one being that as dirty <laughs> as we get out here." So he's fine with having the black one still. Man, if y'all got another light, I'm fixing to cut this thing off. <laughs> This like we already had this one out before though, but it looks just like the uh, all the one the battery operated ones that you put the fourteen four in. Yeah. But it's rechargeable and it's bright. It will blind you like that too. And just like of course every other light, they adjust. What's new on the Snap-on truck? Another light. <laughs> Another. Oh, we got a. <laughs> Another come on light. Look at a. Good magnet on it. Though. I don't know who's on Snap-on's light team, but he's got his work cut out. They're him. impeccable. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> How many products you have? Seven hundred and twenty-five different lights currently <laughs> in our inventory. <laughs> yeah, yeah this one's been out for a while, but it's been on back order, and I got four of me, and I think I only got two. Yeah, two left. Yeah, two left. Well, I like that new one that you got that oh, I yeah, got these. from you last week. I only got two left for them. Yeah. You better hurry up and order some. I have a different one. Yeah. <laughs> Next these, week. <laughs> these have a discontinued number on them for too long. Have another one out. Yep. And what of course, then everybody knows about this light right here. Harmonic. Long four inch offset harmonic dampener pulley holding tool. You must have had a special order of that for somebody. Yeah, I think it was Toyota and Lexus or something like that. I can't remember. Honda and Acura. Yeah, Honda and Acura. No, it's a, yeah, Toyota and Lexus the one I'm waiting on for them. Yeah, I had the, somebody needed one, so I ordered it. Well, then I ordered another one just to have it. Mm -hmm. And we're waiting on the Toyota Lexus one is round. And that just has a little bit of knife stick out the side. Of it. They put the ratchet in to hold it while you put the break the bolt loose. Cool. Mention lights. I know you got one of these. I know a mm -hmm. bunch of people do though. Andy, you remember Andy Tailgate mm -hmm. Tech? He actually messaged me, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, about that very light. So, yep. what's the part number? There you go, Andy. We got I told you, Andy. You Hamilton had my phone bugged. <laughs> the part number on this one is easy CTLUV761. There you go, Andy. You ain't even got to use the glasses on these. This mm -hmm. thing's so bright. You can use this for a regular flashlight. Can show how bright it is on the floor. That thing is unreal. I did a video on those, and it like it was so bright the camera was having a hard time adjusting. To it. <laughs> That's what I, I just leave it parked sitting right here, and I, we left it on over there to take the battery out finally, just to see how long it would last right there. They were running long. I mean, it was all day long. Mm -hmm. I've left mine on on accident, you know, just like forget to turn it off while yeah. I was doing something else. Those but are yeah, right there, are well worth the money. They sure it's, beat the snot out of them little pin lights. And well, no, we had the, uh, well, this ain't one of them, but the stream lights, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, the I had UV. you order me one. Yeah. Like, yeah. When they came out, I mean, they, they was awesome because they was the brightest thing out yep. there. And then when shortly after that, these came out. And <laughs> Take the pin light and throw it across the parking lot because you don't need that one no more. That's true. That is true. That's when they start. Everybody needs to do that. When they find a tool that's better than the other one, take the other one, just throw it across the parking lot out there. Don't worry about it no more. You two guys are <laughs> like that. Oh, tread depth gauge. That's pretty nice right there. Yeah. Lifetime warranty. I think they are. I know that's one thing I like about y'all's tire gauges. Remember I bought that one mm -hmm. tire gauge, it's got like the instinct handle on it. Every big truck tire gauge, they'll get to where they won't lock on anymore. And dude, every one I've ever bought, 
wouldn't last a year. And I've had that yeah. one at least two years. I'm like, this will have a lifetime warranty on it. Well, I ain't worried about it. Yeah, the GA 359B. <laughs> Yep. Sold one on this morning too. There you go. That thing is awesome right there yeah. too. And these, I... You know, I bought that and then the blue point one that's got the dial with the hose on it. You I know got one I mean? of them back there too. That joker is nice These are pretty too. nice for your regular car guys, which I mean, you can use that one on a regular car one too. Yeah. But this is a GA 358B. That's cool. They'll get some grip on that one. The, uh... That blue point one that you that I bought from you though, that's been a good one. Of course, it's a manual versus a digital, but yeah, I like it because the hose is so long on it. You can stand up and not have to stay hunkered over. And I ordered, well, I'm trying to look for the other things I ordered too, that is large bore valve stem pieces, for, yeah. except for big trucks. Cool. I ain't never had nobody ask for one, but I thought it'd be neat to uh, have just in case. I don't even know where I put them at now. They're up on the roof somewhere. <laughs> you got a lot of stuff in here now. I don't know. I find them sometime or another. Yeah, yeah. I know you got plenty of peckers on here. <laughs> hey, things laying everywhere. That was good to have an extra pecker around, ain't it? You got a hundred of them. I know I bought that little brass one from you like that. That thing comes in handy too. So one yesterday, guy they used it on uh, uh, knocking axles out for changing uh, like wheel bearings and stuff. Mm -hmm. And which he already had the brass punches. Yeah. But he wants to use these on the bearings itself and saw on the new ones. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want to use this on the axle, so he bought the hammer. And you snap on brass hammer. I think that's you? the only one that's lifetime warranty too. What's that? The brass hammers. No, all our hammers left. No, I mean, oh, the only the brass only hammer. Brand, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think any other. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. It's crazy, but it say sells a, a lifetime warranty on a brass hammer. Something that's made to mm. deteriorate. <laughs> made to bust. Yeah, and bend and. That's, even the brass up. punches lifetime warranty. Yeah. Oh, here they are. Here, I told you I had them around here. Two different kinds. Were they fittings? Heavy duty lock on for large board tires. That's a big old valve stem. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing. I never had to deal with one that big. I ordered them because I was like, I ain't never had nobody ask for them, but. Probably something new that fits. How many other tool trucks around got a large bore valve stem tool on their truck already? I don't know. I ain't got one. Might as well buy them, huh? <laughs> I ain't never even seen one of them in real life. Be like, what is that for? I don't know, but he had them. They're new. I didn't have it. I figured something's coming. <laughs> There'd be so, guys out there like that, though. Something's on the way. Well, have you had a good week? Been busy. Had to take off. One day I had to go to the doctor. Ever, you ever been bit by a spider? Over the weekend, right here, it looked like a, I thought it was like an ant bite or something, like a little bit pimple or something, just white spot. Well, I scratched it. And a couple hours later, it was up about twice as big. I scratched it off again. And then uh, woke up <laughs> Saturday or Sunday morning, it was red by the half inch to an inch around. Well, by the end of the day, it was like two inches around. By Monday, it was up on my hand and swelled up. I couldn't even move my Holy wrist. Cow. And uh, went to Dr. Tuesday. He gave me some antibiotics and stuff, and they said it was a spider bite, which I don't remember no spider bite me, but... But after I got the man about it, happened Halloween night. Good I am. It's still tender. You press on it and it hurts, but it don't hurt. How long did it take it to go back down after you started taking the antibiotics? I, about, I mean, Tuesday evening it was feeling better. It still was swollen up. Wednesday, like when I woke up Wednesday morning, it was way on down. That's good. And uh, like I said, I'd be glad it wasn't one of them brown recluse or black widows or something. Yeah. I wouldn't even go to the doctor at first. I couldn't move my wrist. That's the way I am until something's yeah. like major. I'm like, ah, oh, it'll get better. It'll get better. Yeah, well, that's like with my gallbladder. I mean, I wasn't going to go to the doctor. I didn't know what was wrong, but when you can't even walk or can't eat or nothing like that. My wife said I had a yellow tent to me. It's time to go to the doctor. Then. Yeah. <laughs> well, I sure thought that green box would be sold. I figured it'd be like that, that black one. Yeah. I, like I said, I got a couple 
one that was really interesting, but then they talked him into the, or he wasn't interested, he was just kind of upset that he didn't get the green one instead of the black one, but then after he realized how dirty he gets and everything, he would say with the black, but we do got two guys that's interested in it. You still, have you figured out what the third one's gonna be, what color? It ain't come up on my list yet, so I don't know yet. Waiting on it just to see. Probably be purple. That'd be all right. I sell purple ones Purple too. with yellow trim. You sell it well, to LSU little, fan. Ain't, that'd be the only one that'd want it. LSU and put go, get you some stickers, mate. It says go Tigers. Go it. Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even spell it the correct way. <laughs> yeah. What do they spell it? G-E-A-U-X. Yeah. They talking yeah. about go Tigers. I was like. Man, our way of spelling goes way easier. That's common core English. I like to hear. I like to hear those Cajuns talk the way they pronounce stuff. Like, oh, that's, yeah. You'll look at a word and you'll be like, what does that word say? That's chaffalaya. I'm like, how do you get chaffalaya out of that? That's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> Don't even know why I'm in that one. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah, listen to Cajuns talk. is true Cajuns. Mm. Not just somebody from Louisiana, a true Cajun. Yeah. And it's, I like to hear the way they say water. Yeah. Water. If you can understand what they're saying. <laughs> We, uh, had, before I started this, I worked did Dish Network. Had went to Monroe, Louisiana, and New Orleans to work after hurricanes came through and stuff. And yeah, go you want to go work on somebody's TV and not understand what they say? Hi, <laughs> <God>, dang! <laughs> I need some like one of those translator apps. Yeah. Did you see the Duckman down there? Did you get to go to the We place? went by there, but they was Duck closed Commander. though. How? We got a picture made beside their big sign, sign the yeah. Duck Commander sign. But when we went down there, they was closed that time. I wanted to go in there and just. That's pretty cool. They said, like I thought, we ate at a restaurant, and they said they're in that restaurant all the time, eat lunch and stuff. Of course, it was wow. supper that night. Yeah. And uh, they was like, well, they live just like a couple miles up the road, so I'm not going to the house. That'd be, I mean, I don't want people coming to my <laughs> house. They'll knock know? on the door yeah. and be like, look. They'll be like, oh, you're that guy. You're the Snapple guy from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, We know you. <laughs> but, yeah, they, they said that they, uh, they said pretty neat people, though. Yeah. They, got a, they built a heck of a business. You know, I know I watch some shows sometimes. They're all reruns now. But I love that show. I hated they canceled that thing too. Some got some good big show. old houses too. It was a fun show to watch. I always wanted to go eat Miss Kay's cooking. You know, because you know yeah. every time at the end of the show it They're shows their eating. their big table with all that food on it, and the, you know, and they're praying over their meals and stuff. And man, that woman can cook, dude. And cook. I think that's all she does is cook all day, every day. Yeah. But if they're feeding that whole bunch, I guess they kind of got to. I know she lays out some good spreads, that's for sure. I like to eat, obviously. Me too. That's why we go to eat lunch every, every Friday. <laughs> we got to sit here in the chair for two hours before we can do a video. <laughs> get where we can breathe and walk. <laughs> yeah. It was like, how long do you stay at his shop on Fridays? Hamilton's like, how about four hours? <laughs> oh, it takes that long to shoot a video? No, it don't take about 20 minutes to shoot a video. <laughs> <laughs> Got to recoup. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Hey, yeah. A lot of people ask, like, what's your last shop you go to on Friday? I said, well, I just depends on how I feel. I said, probably <laughs> three weeks out of the month it's Clay's, because by the time I get done over there, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> just because it's Friday for one, y'all don't go home early. But I don't know if it'll be two thirty when I leave here or five thirty. <laughs> we figure it out when that happens, though. Well, deer season opens tomorrow. You got your one scouted out? Yeah. Or youth. Uh, Bow season been intact, but youth season starts tomorrow. And uh, I was wanting to carry, go hog hunting, carry my son, put him on deer, but me go look for a hog. But another buddy of ours is a game warden. He's going too, or he called and asked us if it's right, bring his son. Be like, look, I, like, well, I guess I tote yeah. my beer in before I get out of the truck. That's why I told my son, I guess I carry my bow with me then. You know, I ain't gonna use my six five. <laughs> I guess I have to really carry my bow this time. <laughs> Not really hog hunting today. That's what everybody in Mississippi does. Like, no, we're hog hunting. Okay. <laughs> That's why I asked him. I was like, uh, I said, how old is your son? He's like, he's seven. I like, yeah, like seven months or like seven years old, you know? Yeah. Y'all hear all the stories. People got their little bit baby beside the big old deer. Like, come on, man. <laughs> he didn't shoot that deer with that. Yeah, he did. I took his finger and put it in with there. With that seven mag right there. <laughs> I just used his finger and pulled it with mine. <laughs> that's it. Nah, that's mm -hmm. what, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. My son enjoys it. Usually, usually every other year, he don't get too much into it. He wants to go out to shoot like one deer, but yeah. he's actually been, uh, 
way into the hunting this year, so he's been working with us on the grain fields and putting the vitamins out for the deer. That's like, you know, I guess we're different down here in the south, though, but that's kind of like the rite of passage. Like, every daddy wants his son to kill a deer before he's 10. Yeah. You know, like my son killed his first one at 8, and I killed my first one at like 8. And people that's not from here, they're like, you mean to tell me that you... You let your kids mess with guns? Like, no, he don't mess with guns. He hunts with guns. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't just that's, play with them. You know, that's, that's, They're a tool that we have. That's just the like, way we do it down yeah. here, you know? And like, this is a tool that I work on the car. And what's crazy is when I was in high school, every boy in their gun rack in their back window, they had a had deer them. rifle and a yep. shotgun. Or if they went into like squirrel or birds, they always had a twenty two. Yep. But it was always two guns. And now you can't even drive by the school with a gun in your car you know if you live that's close weird. to it you can't even have a gun now that's crazy because like i remember my Votec teacher like we actually took our guns in Votec. we would shoot at Votec a lot of times go out behind the practice field for baseball and football and shoot there's a big old dirt pit out there and we'd shoot into the dirt pit and stuff there in Votec. Well, he would help us like, oh, you bought that new Red, you know, Redfield was a big thing yeah. back then. Of course, Leopold was just kind of coming into the, you know, normal human price range at that yeah, point. Well, yeah, the average person could afford. But like Redfield was real big and I remember, which I always like 270s and we would bring our rifles in there and he would bore sight them for us. You know, he had a bore sight and set up. It yep. wasn't like the little lasers that they have now. Like, you actually had to put a rod through the barrel and all that. Yeah, with the little thing on the end of it that stuck yeah. up. Yep. But he would help us bore sight of rifles in and that afternoon. We'd That's a lost them. art, doing it that way. Yeah. You don't, people don't have that no more. But he would like, you know, I remember people would buy some guns and back then it was all wood stock. They wouldn't composite really. Yeah. And he would help them drill a stock and put their sling mounts on like that. Man, he'd, he'd be fired for sure today doing yeah, that, you know. They'd be sending letters to his wife and kids. But kids uh, wasn't playing video games where they were shooting, 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 shooting. You know, we shoot, time. I mean, I shoot a whole lot more, but I mean, my wife, my daughter loves shooting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, she has her own pistol. I, she don't carry it with her, she's only 15. It stays in the gun safe and everything. But my son got a couple guns. He got a 233 single shot Henry. Yeah. Uh, Actually, my father-in-law won it in a gun giveaway. Those Henrys are nice. Man, man. that's a sweet gun. That they're is, heavy, but they're nice. Yeah, it's, it is very heavy, yeah. but it's nice to shoot. And uh, actually, I actually got to take it up to Corinth. He's going to get me a scope mount for it because I can't find a scope mount anywhere for it because it's a flush mount. Yeah. And uh, he got that. He got a 20-gauge youth model that uh, somebody gave him, and he got a 270. Remington would, and that's what he deer hunts with that 270. I love a 270. And that's what, I mean, I'd probably be getting some hate mail of this, but all his guns stay in his room. He got a gun safe in his room. I that's mean, that's where it should be. They're yeah. his guns, you know. Yeah, but he, I mean, he's been around them since he's old enough to. That's why, you know, my son, same way, you know, like even when he was probably five, mm -hmm. six, you know, I had him shooting. Of yep. course, we started out with really light stuff, 22s. Yep. Actually, we started out with 22 shorts and then moved up to 22 longs because I figured, you know, it's not much more than a strong pellet gun of 22 yeah. shorts. Yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, he got really good at shooting and stuff. And then after he got into hunting, you know, I never I never took the guns back. He cleaned them, put them up in the closet or whatever. Yep. And yeah, like he got a, uh, but it's actually my old gun safe. He got a key. It's not fireproof or, yeah. I mean and it's just not even metal. bolted down there's just mm -hmm. a cheap one I think you can probably Walmart for 70 or 80 bucks right. holds seven or eight guns mm -hmm. they got three of them in there and a couple pellet guns too and his playboys they probably so <laughs> and, uh, yeah he probably so but uh he, don't, he ain't got no bullets or anything in there I keep all them and yeah. I got a big old gun room and uh, they all stay in there but they uh I mean they're his guns I wish he, if he wants to shoot him, he's more than welcome to get him out at any time. Where it's like I said, we shoot used to, during some time we're trying to shoot at least one day a week. Yeah. When it's dark. I mean when it's not dark when you get home. Mm -hmm. That's what sucks about this time change. I wish I'd just move it thirty minutes and leave it alone. Put it back the other way. We've got it some daylight sucks. when we get home. Five o'clock, it's already dark. You can't do yeah. nothing when you get home, you know. That makes for a long night too. God. Of course I like being outside. I like being outside too, but I mean, we go to the shop and hang out out there, open the doors up, which 
it's been nice this week getting down in I think 30s in the morning time and late at night. And it's not got warm up there now, but like 70 degrees. something degrees. Yeah, it's been sweating out there today. <laughs> yep. So we can go to the shop and hang out and do stuff out there. Drink cold beer. At least beer. being in the house. Yeah, drink plenty of cold beer. <laughs> Play with guns drinking beer. That's the way to do it. There's going to be a lot of people like, oh, God, I shouldn't even say that. <laughs> it's been some of the best gun trades ever drunk. Yeah. Like, I've ended up with some nice guns drunk. <laughs> I got a friend of mine that's, uh, he's the one that, he'd be at deer camp tonight. He's tight with his money. Tight, tight, tight. But he loves bow hunting. We stopped when, cheap used to have that bow store down there. Crossbows and compound mm -hmm. bows, and you could shoot. And they had that 3D course and yeah. everything. I think it's a plumbing store now, but we went in there one day. We got off work, went down there at lunch on Friday. They had a bow in there, it was like $1,400. Shot close to like 390 something feet per second mm -hmm. out of a compound bow, which is Probably ridiculous. Probably bow tech or uh, Matthews. Or yeah, I don't know. But he was like, there ain't no way. That's good. That's way too high. And his one he had was a Matthews. This was $600. And uh, anyway, by the time supper time got around, we done went to Skybox to Sawtella. And, he was ready to go get yeah, it, wasn't he? By the time he got home, his wife was mad. <laughs> <laughs> Because you can't buy a new bow and put your old stuff on it. You oh, no. Buy he bought all of new. I bought his old bow that same night for like $200. I still got it. That's why I went with all the time. But he used that $200 to give him some arrows and stuff. He's like, you going to buy mine? See, I'll give you 200 for it. Pay me. All right, here you all go. Right, let me get them arrows. <laughs> <laughs> he can't shoot your old arrows out of it or nothing. That's right. And he don't even use them now. He got him a crossbow, a $200, like $250 crossbow at Walmart. Crossbows. That's for girls. <laughs> That's for girls and handicapped people. Yeah. <laughs> Crossbow. If an Indian could kill it with a stick and a string and a rock tied on the end of it, yeah. a guy should not, and he's healthy, he should not hunt with a crossbow. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. We, I got a crossbow, but I don't, I've, I would like to get a hog with one, and I may take it tomorrow, try to get a hog, just because of how much more knockdown power. But for, I have never shot a deer with it, now, with that compound bow. We shoot bows a lot. I'm gonna carry them, both them, tomorrow too. There ain't nothing like bow hunting and getting one with a bow. Like yeah. I'm not gonna get graphic with it, but until you feel that adrenaline rush of a clean pass through, you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, or you see it hanging out the side, just dangling, yeah. slinging and stuff. Like, That's a rush right there. Or, uh, or would you stick one and they go down right then? Of yep. course. If you hit one with a bow, it is always more graphic. They're going to kick and scream and all that stuff. Yeah. But when you drop them right there in front of you with a bow, that's real good for them. That's why, you know, I got to the point with my rifle, you know, you just have those clean drops. And you're like, man, it, 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 after a while, after that happens a couple of times. It gets boring, though. It's like you just, it takes the sport out of it, really. Yeah. I mean, it does. That's, that's when I got into to bow hunting big. Was, was well, it's like a... Last year, I love hunting. It ain't so much about going out there and shooting deer. I love eating deer meat, but I, I had enjoy just the let my mind get away from work, like the birds, the leaves, just the. Yep. You know, it, it's there's no better feeling than sitting in a tree and hearing it, ch -ch 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 -ch. knowing that they're coming, and, and then it stops. It it's, it's sort of smelled a little bit, like it may have got a whiff of you, and then here it comes. Yep. Like, there's no better feeling than that. Yeah, we uh. I bet last year I probably seen, watched, it was over 100 deer come by me. And, stuff. and of course, I'm not the one that, I'm not shooting a little bitty deer, no yeah. baby deer. I let them, I mean, if they're not three and a half to four years old, we don't shoot them anyway. It's different Unless it's if a you need deer. one to eat or you yeah. really enjoy deer meat. But like, well, I mean, our freezer is full, and my son shot two last year, too. And I get more out of watching him. Yeah, that's like, the way I am. That's what uh, me and my buddy, like we was talking about, now or to the age, my son can drive my tractor. He, him and my boy and his boys planted at Greenfield. We sat on the side by side and drink all day, toting <laughs> seed and fertilizer back to the side by side, you know? Yeah. We used my tractor and his tractor. Me and him never did nothing. The boys did it. And that's what I'm out there for. I mean, mm. what, you know, you got kids. You out there for them at that point anyway. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy going deer hunting, especially just watching them. Like, there's, it's something cool about that thing thinks something's here. It yep. senses it, but it ain't figured it out yet. And you're sitting there watching it the whole yeah. time. We're talking about like that, even with you in the stand with a bow and you up there 30, 35 foot, or some people get a lot lower than that. I don't understand how anybody getting tree sound, I at least go 35 foot up. But, and you hear them coming, of course, 
and the bow you over green fields a lot of time where you get a good line of sight good shot and bucks so I like on those hardwood thickets for them big old fat acorns or persimmons yeah well that's yeah you my, get on the get up my, under the tree that's my point i look for yeah. right there and uh and you sit there and like i said the buck you ain't even got it you can just tell them if the deer walked out the woods if they looked at you looked up at you or looked down you can tell if it's a buck or doe then they ain't got to have no antlers on it you know yeah. What I like is, like greenfield hunting, I never hunt over a greenfield with a bow. I prefer hunting in the woods. But now, with a gun, I like, you know, I like the greenfield or the long shot stuff. But what I like is when those young bucks is out there eating in the greenfield, yeah. and you see them throw that head up, and they look around, that they're tail like, goes up. I get to go. Like, and you're like, <laughs> what's he running from? <laughs> you better get your safety off, because Big coming. Papa is coming. <laughs> yep. You know, and a lot of people they'll get too impatient. Like they'll always shoot the the, you know, the eight point with a fourteen inch rack, fourteen yep. inch wide rack. Where if they would have waited five minutes, they could have got the eight point with the eighteen and a half inch inside well, bread. I, I know. show y'all a picture real quick. Everybody talking about hunting. Biggest four point you ever seen? Let me see if how many people got the. When I shot this deer, I done seen two other ones bigger than him. I think both of them was eight, and one maybe eight or ten or something. I don't know. But this is the one I was waiting on. And ain't nobody else gonna let these other two deer walk by. Let me get it to focus on it. <laughs> that is crazy to have that big a spread. I, said, no I took off work all week and hunted that deer. I probably, like, that week alone, I probably seen 20 big deer that everybody else would shoot. Yeah. But, I mean, I was after one deer and one deer only, and I wasn't gonna shoot one until I seen him. That's the way I but, am. I like, what I like, <laughs> And I guess it kind of is cheating is, is the game cams. You know, like, you see a bunch of little ones, and then you see that good one. Yeah. And then from then on, like, that's what I focus on. Like, it don't matter. Like, a lot of people would shoot some of the deer that, that we would let go. and Yeah. And just waiting on that big one. Because the good thing about it, if you don't get him, he's just going to be better next year. Yep. And that's what, I mean, and when my son knows it too now, he's, he's 12 year old now. He'll be 13 in December. And that's what I'm talking about. His first deer of the year, he can shoot whatever, mm. any deer that comes out, he's more than welcome to shoot. After that first one, then if we need meat, then we get a doe, or we always have two or three cool bucks that we watch on yeah. camera, because we watch deer all year long. Yeah. And uh, of course our goal was to get the cool bucks out, because we want to raise bigger Good deer, right. good deer. Yeah. And that, uh, I mean, just sit there and watch them. And now he's hunting with me long enough. Of course, what he is, five, six years old, and deer come, even little bitty does or anything, like, let's, let's shoot him, Dave, let's shoot him. Like, now we, I mean, if you shoot them big, if you shoot them little, they're never going to be big. Yeah. You know? And if you shoot a little one, then it's never going to have a chance to reproduce to replace the one that you just shot. You got to give them a chance to at least yeah. reproduce one time to replace the one that you take out. And yeah, I guess. Three year old deer is a pretty rare thing, you know, around here. Yeah, right. Even, yeah. even with us trying to be conservative, because yeah. it's not me or you. It's everybody else that's that goes cool. after the number. Yeah, like, like I killed fourteen dude, deer that year. Like impressive because you can drive down the highway at night and you can get one. Like man, kill a good one if you yeah. if you're gonna take its life. You know, get a good one. Yeah, you see all these like when when people with six points and eight points and I killed one. It was untypical. Like what was the spray? It was nine inches. It's like this right here. Like yeah. well, come on now. Yeah, that's quit. impressive when you're seven or eight or your yeah. first deer. Like I mean, even know. my son. That's the first right. deer he sees over here. A can, bow kill. Now, now, now I, I will say that. Bow kill. Yeah. It's different with a bow kill. Like bow a buck is, with a bow is, is like a you know a hundred and forty class deer with a rifle. Yeah. You know. Well, and also we're in Mississippi. There's not big deer down yeah. here compared to Illinois like, and people go to Missouri, Ohio, and, and my Nebraska. wife's cousin, he goes to Missouri every year to, to for just for a bow hunt. I mean, these deer, they put field, I mean, big fields, stand right on the edge of it, and they know what time the deer is coming out. Mm -hmm. And they're big, and you still got to get them close to you, yep. close enough for the bow to, so we're, we'll say within less than 50 yards, you know. Yep. Preferably With, 20. Yeah, or, yeah preferably, <laughs> yeah. That's why. Because it ain't the... It ain't the fact of hitting it. It's just their reaction time is so good. Man, they can duck a string. Or like jump crazy. over them. Yep. I've seen crazy. many of their bucks usually jump. Yep. And a doe, you better aim She'll under drop. that sucker because yeah, she's going to fall aim right at into the bottom it. of her. Because yeah. she's going And if she's, she's a small drop, yeah. a foot and a half. Now, I ain't a lot. It's like, I mean, with a bow, yeah. If you get them within 20 yards, you better take whatever one yep. you see. 
Like, don't even wait on that quarter and away uh -uh. perfect shot. You, if you got a good one, you better get better it while get you can. Better get your shot on them, cause especially if she got her head down or he's got his head down, you yep. better go on and let her let but her yeah. fly. But yeah, I, I enjoy that hunting. I really like the hog hunting because well, one the hog is a nuisance. Yeah. But uh, I'm, Man, I like the hog. Terrible tasting though. Not bull crap. Man, like I don't like good. them. I've tried and tried. And tr I've tried smoking them with barbecue sauce on it. Is about the best way that I've I've tried them, but. I just don't like that feral hog. That it's just the smell of the meat. It's what it well, is. Well, we like. I don't keep none of the any boar over 150 pounds. Oh, we yeah. take to the, the back off to the swamp, and I drop them off the tailgate off the back of the uh, side by side because I'm like they, they they stink and you can smell them before you get to them. <laughs> yeah, they do. And, uh, and they're in the, like if you throw it in the back of a side by side. I, man, my side by side smelled like that for like months. I did that on one right here. Both of these were boars. Grant, the bed of this side side is 50 inches from one side to the other. Yeah. And you can pull the, you can put a full pallet in the back of there with the tailgate up. So you, I mean, they was huge. <laughs> and that was the first two that Both I killed. Both of them was boars? Both of them. <laughs> And I brought them up there just because my son never seen one when I shot them. So, of course, then we went out there and dumped them, and then you had to go pressure wash the side by side. That's you know? what I was saying. You can't get that smell out. It's terrible. And you want, like, crazy a big old deer. Of course, they're longer and they're flimsy. Mm -hmm. They're soft, so you can get them in the back of the side by side by yourself. A hog. They just a 225 <laughs> pound hog that is only yeah, this long, hog. but they're this big around. Yeah. You can't load up by yourself. <laughs> and like you can't grab the front leg and the back leg and manipulate mm -hmm. it to help you like a like a handle like yeah. you can with a deer. They're just cumbersome. <laughs> yeah. I guess because it's so short. And, and there's round. no good way to drag them either. Like you grab them by the ear. No, because so everything their little legs comes off ain't to long point. enough. Like you try to pull them and you're you're hitting yourself in the heels with them. Like, you can't tie a rope or like even if you tie a rope around their neck, a lot of times they're gonna slide right off the end of their snout. <laughs> yeah. You got to pick them up. They're just a pain in the butt. Yeah, that was that was a rough day right there getting them out. And both, of course, both of them run to the bottom of the steepest hill I was hunting on. Every time. Yep. All right, guys. We're going to turn this thing off and get back to work. Hopefully, y'all like the hunting stories. And hunting 101. <laughs> the new tools and our new lights and all the cool stuff. But, all right. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. And check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here in the description. If you're not subscribed, two simple things. Your finger and click. Click that button. All right, guys. Y'all have a great one. Catch you next time. See ya.